The portability of a laptop is something everyone has a use for. I mean, how else are you gonna finish some work while staring at social media every five minutes? Your phone? That's not gonna cut it. But there are times where you're sitting at your desk, getting down for business, you just don't wanna press tab alt and command tab all the time. It gets boring, it gets tiring, hurts your fingers. You don't want arthritis yet, do you? Well, there's a couple of solutions and turning your iPad into a dedicated display is one of the more interesting ones. So let's dig a little deeper into that. To start off, there are plenty of solutions to this single screen laptop problem. For one, you can easily buy an HDMI portable monitor and plug that in or even USB type C monitors. There's also the Razer triple screen laptop if you like prototypes that don't really exist in the real world. And finally, the last one, using your tablet or iPad as a display. The concept isn't new, but it is pretty useful. At least the app I used, Duet Display was. Now this is an iOS app that allows iOS devices past iOS 7, the ability to become a second display for a PC or a Mac. It works through a wired connection by connecting the lightning cable to your iPad and the USB end into your laptop. This is a good solution. It's not too expensive. It's only $15. The app for desktop is free. Thank God, I ain't paying $15 twice, that's for sure. I've personally bought and used this app for the last two years, and I can tell you, it works pretty well. You download the app on your iPhone or your iPad, whichever iOS device you want to use, and then you download it on your PC or your Mac. Set up is super easy, plug your iPad into your computer, open the app on both devices, and boom, wow, second display. There's a couple of options on the app, allowing you to change between resolution and frame rate so that you don't have to make your battery smoke and die. Trust me, it kills battery. And if you own a Mac, you can make a touch bar on non-touch bar models, if that's your thing, of course. Overall, I think this is a very good option for people that have devices that's running iOS 7 or above. It's relatively cheap if you already own an iPad, especially one that's just laying around your house or something. The only thing that really limits you is the size of your device. So if you're using an iPhone, like an iPhone SE, then, well, you're going to be squinting at the thing. You're not going to get any work done with that kind of display at all. This thing really shines with bigger iPads because more screen real estate, you can see more, and those are relatively better because you're not face mushed all up against it. So the basic 9.7 inch model is the perfect middle ground for this type of thing. Now there are a couple of negatives to this solution. For one, you do need to use a wired connection using a lightning cable between the iPad and your computer. There are other solutions like Luna Display that allows you to use just a little wireless dongle to let the two communicate, but that literally costs four to five times more than Duet Display that only requires a wired connection. Duet Display does come with a wireless option, but that costs a yearly fee. Over time, other wireless options like Luna Display ends up being cheaper in the long run because it's just a one-time fee. Also, the second display's performance will be affected by the main machine. For example, the computer that has the iPad attached to, if that thing's slow, then it will affect performance of Duet Display. However, relatively newer computers should be able to handle it just fine. But the performance thing is just off of my personal experience, so your mileage may vary. The cost of implementing this setup is expensive, especially if you don't own an iPad already. And if you don't feel like buying one or have no need for one, then you're probably better off just buying a portable display. Those are cheaper and provide the exact same functionality. And finally, the app does take a toll on laptop battery life, so I really recommend you keep your laptop plugged in while you're using a second display. After all, if you're using a second display, you're probably sitting at a desk anyway, right? Who uses a second display on the ground? That's, that's weird. Overall, I think this is a very good solution for people who already own an existing iPad to allow them additional functionality. But at the same time, if you don't need an iPad, don't want an iPad, or don't have an iPad, buying a portable monitor is just plain better and plain cheaper. But if you do have an iPad, this is the way to go. All right, guys, let me end this video with a question for you. What do you think of this app? Is it worth it? Would you consider a portable monitor setup in the first place, you know, to use on the go? Do you think apps like this provide additional functionality or are they just useless? Leave all your other comments as well down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.